guys, Redneck Mini 14 here, and I know it's been a while since I've made a video. Um, I've been busy with school for the past five or six weeks, and so I haven't made a video in a while, but I wanted to share this new camera that I got for my birthday <clears throat> and uh, just kind of show you what all you get with it. So the camera is, it's kind of like a GoPro. Um, it's not a GoPro because GoPro, I'm pretty sure, is a brand and not a concept. <coughs> um, but anyway, here's the box. It is a Sports HD DV, um, let's see, I think this might be the model right here, H264. Uh, uh, I'm not really sure, but it is a... Um, it's a sports style camera, like a GoPro style camera, and it came with this uh, little um, waterproof case. Let's just take it out of the case here. So this is what the actual camera looks like. Again, very GoPro-like. It does shoot in 1080p HD. Um, let's see if this will show up on camera. <clears throat> I'll give you the specs in a little bit. Uh, yeah, see, uh, it doesn't really show up very well, but it does have a few different uh, modes. It's got a uh, regular video mode. It has a car mode, which I'm not really sure what that means. Uh, I guess it shoots better quality video for if you're in the car. And then it has a picture mode. So, those are the three modes, and then of course there are several settings as well. <clears throat> um, so yeah, let's go over some of the um, the uh, specifications. It has well, it has a one and a half inch LCD screen. I'm reading off of the back of the box, by the way. Um, image resolution goes all the way up to 12 megapixels. Um, video resolution well anyway again it shoots in uh, 1080p um, HD oh video compression format is what the H264 is I'm not sure what the model number of this is it might not actually have one um, Shoots video format in MOV and JPEG. It has a 170 degree HD wide angle lens. So, and I noticed this when I first started filming with it. It has a, an extremely wide range of view or field of view. Um, so again, it's, you know, 170 degrees. So, you know, basically... If you hold your camera out, it can catch anything, you know, like right next to it. And it's really cool. So, like, if I was at the football game at Murray State and we scored a touchdown and the horse runs around the track, which is a Murray State tradition, um, I could just hold the camera in one spot and catch the horse going around the entire track and not have to move the camera at all. That's really cool. Okay, so that's kind of all the uh, basic um, specifications of it. Again, it came with this waterproof case. I'm going to put it back in the case for now. Um, shoots video in 1080p HD. Came with not one, but two batteries, and the battery life on these is supposedly 70 minutes. So you have approximately 140 minutes worth of video time just with your um, batteries. It came with a micro SD card. It actually came with a 16 gig micro SD card, and this is the uh, adapter um, that the micro SD is actually in the camera along with the other battery. Um, but it also came with this little adapter. <clears throat> and it also came with all of these different mounting uh, 
platforms and you know these different accessories so like this is for you know you could put it on the handlebars of your bicycle you know just clamp it down and you can take videos of uh, bike rides and it came with a couple of these little um, bases here and they have uh, adhesive and an adhesive backing to them so you know you could put these on your helmet and strap them down with these straps that it came with here and um, or you can you know probably attach it to your dashboard maybe I don't know I haven't tried that yet um, I probably will if not I'm sure I can find some other accessories that can uh, be used for the dashboard um, this is for uh, if you want to use the camera without the case you know you have it comes with this little little mounting bracket here on the bottom of the the waterproof case or you can take it out of the case and snap this over the camera and use it like this and of course you have all these different mounting um, joints here for different just different ways that you can use uh, to mount the camera comes with extra adhesive things for the the bases um, it's got a couple of um, zip ties in there I'm not exactly sure what those are used for it has a, a screen uh, cleaning cloth in here it's got a, a cable um, I don't really know what that's for it's like it's like a lock cable I guess so you can like you know get a lock and lock it to something I have no idea um, comes with an extra back to the waterproof case, which is interesting. I don't really know why. Uh, and it comes with the uh, little plug, and the cord is actually in my computer right now. Um, so this is the, uh, the wall adapter, so you can charge the battery um, in the wall. And of course it c comes with the cord that's in my computer right now, and that's how I upload video to the computer. So how much does a camera like this cost? Well, considering a, a regular GoPro, you know, that may go for uh, $200 to maybe up to $600 depending on which model you get because there are, of course, many different models. This being a knockoff GoPro, um, you get this camera that shoots in 1080p HD, has a 170 degree angle uh, field of view lens has all of these accessories you know the waterproof case the the mounting brackets and everything like that two batteries that um, have a um, 70 minute life cycle micro SD card a 16 gig micro SD card with an adapter you know you got your little manual that actually really doesn't tell you a whole lot it just has a bunch of pictures in it um, you know, you get all of that, this cost, all of this cost $43 on walmart.com, free shipping. Um, I don't remember if my mom got it on, uh, site to store, which is, you know, free shipping if you do it that way, or if she actually had it shipped to the house. Either way, I don't think she paid anything for shipping. So, you know, $43? For all of this, that's a good price. I mean, you know, a micro SD card for, you know, 16 gigs, that's already like, you know, $15, $20 maybe. Uh, I'm not really sure. Um, but, you know, you get a lot of a lot of stuff for your money. And I, I have tried this camera out, and it does shoot pretty good quality video. Now, I haven't tried actually, you know, shooting footage for... You know any of my actual YouTube videos yet? I'm gonna do that. You know in a little in a, in a few days, um, but so far it seems like it's pretty good. The one thing that I'm not so sure about is the the audio quality. Although this is probably going to end up being like a downrange camera for me, um, so the audio quality probably doesn't really matter. But, you know, that's the only thing so far that I've noticed about this camera is, you know, when you look at the video on the computer, you know, you have to turn the volume up on the computer a, a long, you know, really, really loud. Now, that could be just because of the waterproof casing 
Maybe if I take it out of the waterproof case and uh, shoot video that way, maybe it will, the uh, audio quality will be better. Um, but I don't know. But so far, uh, for what you get, I mean, that's a, that's a damn good deal, guys. I mean, if you go on walmart.com and find this camera, um, you know, if you want to test it out, I mean, you know, $43, $50, you know, whatever, that's not a lot of money to drop on a camera like this. And so far, it seems like a good camera. And if it's not a good camera, uh, if it ends up not being a good camera, that's not a whole lot of money lost. In fact, you know, for me, this was a birthday present. And, uh, you know, so I'm not really losing anything. But um, either way, you know, I would have... If, if, if my birthday hadn't have been coming up, I probably would have bought this camera myself. But um, I just think it was a really good a really good deal and a really good birthday present. You know, if you have anybody that um, that uh, likes um, not not photography but uh, video work and uh, they like you know do bike rides and stuff like that and they like to to videotape it and all that, this is a really good camera. Um, you know, for the money to uh, do stuff like that. So, anyway, that's my little uh, video on this camera. I really don't actually know what to call it. I'm just going to call it my GoPro knockoff camera. Um, I might actually call it my GoPro from time to time, but it's not really a GoPro. But anyway, that's my little review of this camera. Hopefully in the next week or so, you'll actually see video footage uh, from this camera being incorporated into both uh, my Redneck Mini 14 and my Redneck Off the Range videos. So anyway, <clears throat> subscribe to my channel, like me on Facebook, and also um, like or uh, go and subscribe to my other channel, Redneck Off the Range. The link is in the description down below. Um, check it out. I have a few videos over there. I'm going to add some more videos later on. Um, but anyway, check it out. But anyway, I'm Redneck Mini 14, and until next time, be safe.